Welcome to the latest edition of Fine Gardening's Growing Knowledge Lecture Series, Plants for a Better Planet. I'm Danielle Sherry, the Executive Editor at Fine Gardening. This course was originally conceptualized as a live event on the West Coast for a very small, exclusive audience. However, we ultimately decided it was just too good to keep to ourselves. So through the magic of video enhancements and editing, we are now able to bring this course to all of you out there. This three-part series addresses gardening in a time of climate change, goes through a series of invaluable native and low input plants, and even provides insights on how you can help save endangered plants. Class one is Newer Plants Showing Promise and is presented by Richard Hockey, Director of Ornamental Research for the Chicago Botanic Garden. This lecture focuses on a long list of up and coming native ours and low care ornamentals that Richard has spent the last few years trialing. The plants featured in this class are ones that Richard has truly put to the test and he feels confident enough to recommend to gardeners and even plant in his own garden. Be sure to pay special attention to an absolutely stunning Calicanthus that's a native R that no one should be without. Class two is all about the efforts behind saving and protecting endangered plant species and what you might be able to do to help. Kelly Dodson and Sue Milliken, founders of the Far Reaches Botanical Conservancy, will explain why conservation efforts like theirs are important to the world of horticulture and the planet as a whole. Sue and Kelly will also share some of their success stories of plants that have been fostered at the Conservancy and that you might even be able to grow in your own gardens to further the cause of preservation. There's a story about leeches, yes, leeches, in this class that will make you cringe and laugh out loud at the same time. Finally, in class three, award-winning plant expert and naturalistic garden designer, Kelly Norris, will talk about native plants that are considered generalists. These specific species have adaptations and a hardiness that may enable them to survive and thrive long after climate change has altered our landscapes forever. Kelly leases his presentation with data and geomapping, which helps us all see how our gardens will change over the next few decades and provides solid advice on how plants, like the adorable Prunella vulgaris, can help bolster our natural ecosystems. So thank you once again for joining us on this journey to discover whether or not plants or gardeners like you can really help save the planet. 